Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I had the thought of simulating the NBA season, but we put all of the NBA Draft 2020 participants on the one team, so the top 13, top 15 players I should say, on the one team and put them all against all the other NBA players, all against the other NBA teams and see how well they go. So including these five as well as 10 other players, uh, they're all put, I put them on the Minnesota Timberwolves uh, so that they're all on the one team. And uh, we jump across to the PlayStation now you can see above me this is the team we've got James Wiseman he's actually the highest rated rookie coming out of the draft class according to 2k at least uh, and to the Edwards obviously Lamelo Ball um, uh, I, there's, there's a lot of names that I can't I can't pronounce yet I'll be completely honest with you all um, Onye Onyeka Okongu I can't say his name right don't don't flame me in the comments for this uh, Obi Toppin obviously uh, we've got oh god uh, good mate Denny uh, he's a good mate of mine Patrick Williams Isaac Okoro uh, Devin Vassell, uh, Killian Hayes, uh, Torres Halliburton, Jalen Smith, Kira Lewis Jr., Aaron Naismith, and Cole Anthony. We've got all these guys on the one team. A lot of guards this year, uh, but we've got all these guys on the one team, and we'll see how well they go. The highest rating being a 78. Uh, not a lot of these guys have badges either. You'll see LaMelo Ball actually has the most badges with five total. Uh, but as these guys move through the season, they will progress, uh, but we'll jump straight into the simulation now. All right, guys, I've simulated up to the all-star break, and you can see in the bottom right corner, the team isn't doing that well as expected. We have gotten a few wins though they've got 14 total wins out of the first 54 games so it's not a shocking start to the season uh, however there is a lot of losses here uh, we'll quickly jump across into the stats real quick uh, and we'll be able to see uh, we'll be able to see how the teams are going uh, Anthony Edwards is injured a broken right thigh for two to four weeks that's not good for him Lamello's leading the race in points so 18.8 points a game six rebounds six assists a steal he's doing quite well he's shooting shooting under 40%, you know, that's kind of how Lamello was here in Australia. Uh, he likes to get his fair, de uh, fair, fair chunk of shots up. Anthony Edwards, he's doing pretty good as well. 18, 5, and, uh, five and 2. He's, it, it's interesting, like, the injuries are going to play a huge factor this season. I feel like a lot of teams, a lot of the teams that weren't invited to the bubble, they're going to they're gonna be resting, they're going to be, you know, taking their time. But I don't know if they're going to be fully ready for NBA basketball. Like, they're going to come back. There may be a few injuries. I, I hope there's not. The past few seasons has been such an increase in injuries. It's been absolutely shocking. Uh, James Wiseman, though, averaging a double-double. Hopefully, he can do that for my Warriors this season. I'm really hoping he can. Uh, Obi Toppin for the uh, for the New York Knicks. 13.7 a game. Six six boards, two assists. He's doing quite well. Uh, but overall, there's, there's no real outstanding. They've got a lot of injuries, though. They got a lot of injuries. A Congru, he's got his broken nose. Paddy Williams, he's got a broken left hand. A lot of injuries to this team. Obviously, no veteran experience at all. I know Obi Toppin is quite, he's, he's the oldest of the group. He's 23 as a rookie. Uh, but we'll jump in. Uh, actually, I'll quickly have a look at the standings real quick. We'll see how uh, see how they're going compared to the, re yeah, okay. Well, look, that's, that's kind of what we expected, wasn't it? The only four games behind Utah, though. Um, that's actually quite interesting. Only four games behind Utah. Um, and new, oh boy. Oh, oh my goodness, that, um, what's, what's, what's going on, what's wrong here? What, what's going on? Hang on, uh, what, what are we looking for? Hang on, go to team stats. Um, they, they, I don't, I don't know what's going wrong. The Knicks are 5 and 50. Um, so the Minnesota Timberwolves are actually being the Knicks at the moment. Um, uh, and Detroit. And Charlotte. Whoa, 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 what is, oh, not really Charlotte, but look at this, chat. I keep saying chat, I'm not streaming anymore, I'm recording. New York Knicks are 5 and 50. Okay, well, that, that is pretty interesting. Uh, but let's see. Obviously, I don't know if we're going to make the playoffs. I highly doubt it. Uh, but, oh, in the last game of the season is against the Knicks as well. We're going to simulate through to the Knicks and uh, see. Actually, I'm going to play against the Knicks. You know what? I'm going to go through and I'm going to simulate through and we're going to play against the Knicks, okay? I might only show the last quarter, but I'm going to play against the Knicks. I'll set it to Hall of Fame difficulty. I'll I'll try my best with this very limited squad. Um, obviously, Lamello's probably Lamello and James Wyson probably the two best players in the squad. We'll see how we go, and I'll see you guys when we get to the game. Alrighty, guys, we're getting into this game. You can see the boys in the locker room warming up. Uh, we're about to start off this game. It's the last game of the season.
and hopefully we can end on a W for these lads. Uh, now, I did have a quick look at the rosters before I jumped into this game, and it looks like the progression for uh, a lot of the players has increased or has assisted in them increasing on their attributes and badges. So LaMelo Ball and James Wiseman, who is on screen at the moment, they are both 80 overalls now. So I'm probably going to be running a pick and roll with them. Uh, obviously, the, the Knicks are a good team. They're professional NBA players, no matter what everyone says. Uh, so we will try our best. I'll keep you guys updated. Actually, I'll probably just go through the uh, the fourth quarter, last minute of the fourth quarter, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, coming to the final minute of this game right here. Uh, we did go pretty well, actually. It wasn't a Hall of Fame. I was watching Netflix while playing this game. Uh, but, oh, let me just get this block here if I can. There we go. Um, we didn't do too bad. Um, I'll tell you what, James Wiseman, LaMelo, they're both cheat codes, man, I'll be honest. Um, but the one thing I did notice at the start of the game is I forgot to turn stamina off. That was the one thing I forgot to do. Uh, so unfortunately, I mean, there was no big difference. Uh, I'll explain that in a second. Let me, oh, that's a horrible shot. That's contested. Had to get something up. Um, yeah, so basically, both teams still ran normal subs. Uh, they still ran uh, like their normal lineups and whatnot. So there was no there was no real advantage to having stamina off uh, as the, uh, the Knicks didn't have any stamina issues either. So, guys, coming to the final 10 seconds, uh, we'll get missed. I want to get Wiseman a few more points. Where's Wiseman? I know Wiseman on the floor. I think he might have fouled out. Um, but yeah, we're going to win this game by just around 17 points. Not too bad from the boys. Our 28th win on the season, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so win number 28. Obviously not the greatest record of all time, uh, but definitely not the worst. And we'll check out uh, 32 points for Lamelo here. Anthony Edwards as well, 30 points. I did try, I did force up a few threes, I'll be honest. I did force up a few three-pointers with Lamelo. Uh, but look, we'll go and jump into uh, the playoffs, see who wins the playoffs playoffs and see uh, how well these guys progress throughout the season. Alrighty guys, and coming into the end of the season, end of the regular season, Giannis gets MVP. Now Lamelo gets Rookie of the Year. Very interesting. Uh, the third overall pick getting Rookie of the Year. D'Angelo Russell gets Sixth Man Defensive Player of the Year. Also goes to Giannis and Jalen Brunson at most improved. Frank, Frank Vogel of the Los Angeles Lakers, 65 and 17 was their record. Uh, but you can see here the first team's Luka is injured. This doesn't really matter to us. We kind of want to make sure there's no yes yeah, so no one made any of the all NBA teams no one made the defensive teams uh, and rookie teams um, look is this is this the starting five would reckon like is this is this who we I mean obviously this is what this is what uh, 2k predicts will be the top five stars I guess the top five players in this year's draft uh, Lamelo, James Wiseman, Toppin, Edwards, and uh, good mate Denny. Um, but yeah, and the second team is there as well. So there's no real point going through the playoffs here. We'll quickly simulate it, uh, see who wins. Maybe it'll be the Lakers, who knows. Uh, some of the matchups are weird. The Cleveland Cavaliers in the bottom right corner coming up against Milwaukee. Uh, very, very interesting. We'll, we'll quickly uh, go through here and see who wins. Guys, I did put a poll out on Twitter. If you don't follow me already, uh, not follow me already on Twitter, at chuka 2 k um, I highly recommend getting around. I did put a poll out asking whether or not people would prefer to do rebuilds or simulations. This is a simulation, so I don't really control anything. Uh, however, a rebuild is more I, I kind of uh, change the teams around and make them make sure that they can win. Uh, I'll try my best to see if they can win. And we've got the Celtics and the Nuggets in the final here. Uh, the Celtics are going to take it out. It's going to Game 7, and the Celtics take it out. Kemba Walker getting MVP. We're going to quickly check out one more... One more thing real quick. Um, go to, what am I looking at? I'm going to team stats, no player stats. Now we can see here, LaMelo Ball is up to an 80 overall in that top right corner. He's up to an 80 overall. Uh, I'll quickly look at his badges to see what has changed. Still the five badges. Uh, so he's got, he's got all playmaking badges there. Anthony Edwards up to a 79. James Wiseman up to an 80. Uh, and you can see the progression here. So a lot of the players are getting around that, that high 70. Cole Anthony didn't get any court, any playing time all season, it appears, uh, the poor fella. I know he got a little bit. I think he got a little bit of playing time. Uh, for me, I'd run Cole Anthony. I think he's pretty underrated. Uh, but guys, let me know what you think of this simulation down in the comments below. I will be doing a rebuild. I will be doing a Hornets rebuild. So Lamella Ball and Gordon Hayward on the same team. I will be rebuilding that team. So I will be making trades, making picks. I will be doing all that, trying to get... A 
a championship in the next few years. So make sure you uh, stick around for that. Check out my Twitter if you want to see that. And I may be even streaming that rebuild. So if you guys want to go across to my Twitch at DW underscore Chuka on Twitch.tv, I'll see you guys across there. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below on what you think I can do better. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.